That's between Canada and Wales. It's through until 1.25 on BBC Two. Radio Two is, however, on the air through the night with music and conversation. At this moment, it's Peter Marshall's Late Show. But uh, before we go, a timely reminder that tonight the clocks go back one hour. Now, this should be done at 2 a.m. because, as you see, if we, uh, if we do it now, uh, the time would in fact be uh, one hour earlier and taking us back into yesterday. So, in uh, the last, what, one hour and 50 minutes or so of British summertime, this is Richard Straker wishing you a very warm good night. Good night. quite as late as you might think because tonight the clocks go back by one hour. So just in case you have an early appointment for Sunday, it might be wise to make sure you don't deny yourself the pleasure of that extra hour in bed and check that you've corrected all your clocks and watches before you go to sleep, particularly alarm clocks and, come to think of it, the tea's maid might need a little alteration as well. We look forward to your company again sometime tomorrow and for the moment it only remains for me to wish you on behalf of everyone working on BBC Two sweet dreams and a peaceful night. Good night to you. Time about for the first day of British summertime. Incidentally, it begins officially in about 40 minutes time, when clocks and watches should be put forward one hour. Well, as we're just about to close down, we're going to put our clock forward now. And, quick as a flash, that brings the time to 20 minutes past one British summer time. Well, BBC Two is about 15 minutes into their midnight movie, which continues the short series of Flora Robson films. In this one, she stars with Robert Newton and Anne Todd in a drama of conflict in a village community caused by the writer of vindictive anonymous letters. That's Poison Pen, the midnight movie, on two. Well now, on behalf of all of us here on One, this is Roger Maud wishing you a very good night. Good night. name and our BBC Two clock has already been put forward to the new time which is just after 23 minutes past two. So we can look forward to light evenings from now on. We've come to the end of our evening of course but Radio Two stays on throughout this shortened night as usual. It only remains now for me Peter Bolgar on behalf of all of us here on Two to wish you a very good night. Good night. However, tonight's the night, the clocks go forward, and you should put your watches and clocks on by one hour. And as we here on BBC Two are closing down, we can do ours right now. So, in strength, instead of uh, 23 minutes to one, as if by magic, it becomes 23 minutes to two. Good night from BBC Two. Well, now the time is just after a quarter to one. Well, no, perhaps it isn't, because now's the moment to make time fly as we move the clocks forward by one hour. There we are. It's actually just...
just after a quarter to two. If you want to know why we go through this bizarre routine each year, I suggest you tune in to John Dunn's Radio 2 programme on Monday at six, when he visits the Royal Greenwich Observatory. So if you've got time on your hands, then he'll certainly have his hands on the time. So, with a shortened night ahead, from me, Peter Bolgar, a very good night to you from all of us here on BBC One. Good night.